The Life of Christopher White. Now Chris is, um, I've already written a bit of information on Chris, which is in the Advanced and Unknown Rainbow Bible. So there's already stuff which has been done. But I'll just dialogue a bit more on Chris. And um, Chris, uh, Chris White, he, he's uh, about 50 odd now. 51 I think, about around Robert Preston's age. And I met him first in Potter's House days. And um, he was the, the twin, identical twin of Brenton White. Now Brenton would come to church and I, I Brenton told me about his brother. And we went, and he, Chris did go to church a bit, but I went, met him in his flat in Green Heaven Court. I thought it was a little bit negative. And uh, one thing Peter Fletcher once said about the, 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 tw the tw white twins, they're, they're negos, you know, negative sort of people. You know. Probably, probably more critical than negative, sort of, you know, that Pentecostal judgmentalism, you know, but, uh, but Chris is a top dude, and, um, yeah, um, Chris would, uh, Brenton had some issues with pornography, and, uh, I remember once when we, when we were up in, um, Red Hill, no, no, Mount Taylor, where I was burning my comic collection when I was in Potter's House days because um, was, this is probably of the world and not godly and stuff, so getting an uh, Pentecostal hype and burning the comic collection. But I remember Brenton threw on some porn at that time. I, I was porn mags, so he threw that on the fire as well. The cops eventually came and we had to put the fire out. But, um, like Brenton, Chris, Chris pro I, I'm pretty sure Chris watched a fair chunk of that. Uh, online pornography and uh, uh, Phil East once commented that it, they probably masturbate, well, about one of them probably masturbates, that they should be pastors or something, but they probably masturbated. <laughs> yeah, they probably did. <laughs> Chris uh, had a thing for Asians a bit. He was a re he, recently on a phone call he said he was a reverse racist. He, uh, he's a white guy, but he would only date, well, foreigners, I suppose, or uh, Asians by the looks of it. And um, Nim was one of his Asian girlfriends, and then he was mar married to Anne, who was, um, I think she was a Buddhist as well. Um, and now he's, he's uh, the marriage to Anne didn't last forever. They got divorced, and um, now Chris is dating another Asian girl fr from Sydney, and um, this is what's recent news, and... Um, He's, um, he's bought himself a gym, a home gym and, uh, to exercise to get fit, I guess. And in the recent conversation, he commented that, uh, a part was broken or missing or something, and he was waiting for, for it to be freighted from, I think, the U.S. to, uh, to get it to work properly. But, uh, Chris had, Chris had Aaron Goodsell living with him for a while. My friend Aaron, just in recent times, but Aaron's now moved out and has got a place of his own. And um, so he's had Chris as a uh, Aaron has a house guest recently, and uh, I guess they got along okay. Um, Chris, Aaron, of course, goes back to Potter's house days as well, like me and Chris and Robert and, uh, and Pete Fletcher, and, uh, and um, so they've obviously kept in touch over the years, and. Uh, Brenton has lived with Chris recently as well, his brother, who's come down from Queensland and lived with Chris recently. But he's no longer, as far as I understand, he's, he's gone again. And uh, I can't remember where Chris said he was. But uh, Chris is, um, works in the public service still. He's, he's not in Com Super anymore, I don't think. As far as I understand, he's in the new department. I might have mentioned it before. I can't completely recall which department it is. But I think he's working elsewhere now, and um, and a uh, new job. And uh, but he's he's got a home. He owns a home. It's in. I think it's also in Spence. Not a hundred percent sure of that. I think it's also in Spence, where Paul Saberton had his home. I think it's also in Spence, but you can't quote me on that. Uh, I'm not not a hundred percent sure on that. But um, just a regular public servant, and. Uh, he once mentioned that he's not terribly keen on kids because this world is, is sort of like, you know, 
headed for Armageddon and Christ. What, what He mentioned that recently, that next 30, 40, 50 years he expects Jesus to show up, the return, because he's a Pentecostal redhead, revelation sort of stuff. Mm. We had a bit of a chat about homosexuality and stuff like that, and um, with the recent referendum in Australia, and um, Chris is dead against homosexual behaviour. That's pretty much crude abomination to him, and he quoted, quoted, quoted Romans chapter 1 at me, which is, sort of disparages that sort of lifestyle behaviour, thinks that's what's going on in the world at the moment, is Chris, Romans sort of 1 behaviour. So, as you can see, Chris is a Christian, queried whether he's going to church much and read the Bible much, says, ah, not really. So, he, he keeps the faith, but he doesn't really do the faith at times. But, um, that's Chris. <laughs> so that's just a bit more information of life of Christopher White. Um, he's blonde. I, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. He's blonde. He's about five foot ten, eleven, somewhere around there. A little bit shorter than me. Uh, maybe five foot nine. I'm not hundred percent sure on his height. Um, so he's a bit shorter than me, but I'm about six foot. And um, blonde. Uh, he had a bit of a belly, and he. Uh, but he's probably fitter enough now, I suppose, because. Um, He's got the chin and stuff, and um, he used to dress in, uh, well, Brendan used to dress in track pants like me a fair bit. I think Chris did that a bit as well, but he probably gets dressed appropriately enough for work, I would imagine. Don't, don't really know for sure, but in the, in the public services, uh, dress code, usually um, shirt and trousers and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, of course, this is this, this this is really just a bit more information on Chris White. You go, you can go to the Advancing Noah Movement. Rainbow Bible at NoahBooksTheAngelFire.com and the life of Chris White is in there. But that's just a bit more of information on Chris White and I suppose I'll add to this video in the future with a bit more with, with, a, with a bit more as well. So, the life of Christopher White. <laughs>